Hello. So I'm going to start uploading um, more bits and pieces to YouTube because I just feel um, that it's the right place, <laughs> right? Um, for for sharing a bit more longer videos, um, kind of more informational informational stuff. So I thought that I would um, upload this video just now. And what I would just want to share with you today is about really trusting the guidance that you receive. So whether you work um, as a healer or guide or spiritual teacher, or equally, um, if you are just developing your own spiritual gifts um, or opening yourself up more to the opportunities um, and guidance that are around you I, with just our human capacity in mind, um, then this is for you. And what I want to share today is about really trusting the guidance you're given. Now, I fought this for quite a long time. Um, I used to be given um, spiritual um psychic guidance when I was younger and kind of dismissed that and then I went to the spiritualist church to do some spiritual development courses and um, kind of got a bit scared by it if I'm totally honest so I just kind of stopped that um, now I'm really conscious when I'm working with my spiritual gifts I really protect my energy um, and clear my energy and work as uh, so that I can work as a clearer channel for information and guidance that's coming through um, but I also want you to have a little bit of fun and play with this. So the reason I'm saying this, I did a healing last night. It was a one hour group healing for my group coaching ladies. Now I got messages for every single woman in my circle of group coaching. And, um, and some of them were really weird, right? Like really weird messages. Now, when I started to do my Reiki healing, Years ago, um, I would get all sorts of random things come through from songs to, I remember one lady had been <laughs> saying to her about eating a certain type of biscuit. Um, you know, anybody who's ever been to me for a decade will know there's always some kind of like weird, uh, weird stuff that comes through. Weird to me, right? This is the thing, weird to me, but not for the person it's coming through for. Um, so the majority of women that I've messaged today from my healing last night are like, oh my gosh, that makes so much sense. That makes so much sense. And I haven't checked my phone. My phone's been on Do Not Disturb, so I haven't checked to see if the rest of, um, listened to their messages yet from healing last night. But um, sometimes things don't make sense to us, right? We are so limited in our capacity to understand the world, right? As humans, we can be very, very linear in our thinking. Um, and when it comes to spirituality and the universe, there is so much more than our linear thinking. Um, and this can be exciting. And this is why I shared a post yesterday on my social media about being curious. As you go through your spiritual development, be curious, have a sense of humor, be in a space of acceptance, be patient. Um, but really trust yourself, make notes of the things like if you're walking along and you see something and you're like, oh my gosh, like that's weird. Uh, make a note of it. If you keep seeing a certain thing, so it was owls for me recently, make a note of it and do a little bit of research. Like one, trust yourself, connect with yourself first. Think, oh, what is this trying to teach me? right? But if you're first starting out in this path, you can also just have like a little Google <laughs> spiritual meaning of owls or whatever it is that's coming up for you. Or, you know, you might sit in meditation and you're guided to go to a certain place or to eat a certain food, right? Trust the infinite wisdom that is within you and around you. And don't kind of think, oh God, oh God, that's really weird. I mean, if like <laughs> if if you were listening to the voice notes i was sending um the beautiful circle of group ladies that i'm working with you would be like holy moly this woman is off her rocker right but i'm not here to judge that 
<laughs> I would have in the past. I'm not here to judge that. I'm here to be a vessel, to share, to empower, to support these individuals, to recognize their own innate power and wisdom and to help them along their own healing path. It's not my job to interfere. I am merely the messenger, right? So you're your own messenger. Pay attention to what's coming through. Um, this is maybe a bit of a garbled um thing, but let me know in the comments. Like, let me know. Like, do you sometimes have like weird things? You're like, oh my gosh, that song, or like certain things will come up for you, um, and you're just like, yeah, okay, I'll make a note of that. Pay attention. Pay, pay, pay attention, and don't doubt doubt the craziness. Embrace it and love it. And uh, yeah, let me know if any of this resonates.